Come all you gallant heroes, along with me combine. I'll sing a song, it won't take long, of the fighting 69. On my mother's side of the family, I come from a big Irish family, and uh, I remember hearing the fighting 69 growing up. So I asked my uncle about it, and uh, I got a three-page email stating how my grandfather was in the unit with all four of his brothers. Their first cousin, William Lynch, was commander of the 69th. So it was, it was definitely interesting to come into the building and know that my grandfather and his brothers and my great uncle once removed were all, were all here also. It's important to keep the 69th in the city because this is where the unit was born. It has 63 battle rings, 26 streamers on its, on its battalion colors, and I don't think there's another, not only National Guard unit, but another unit in the military that can, that can match that. With the history here in the 69th, and this armory, with all the historical artifacts that we have here, soldiers just don't know about this, the community knows about this, and soldiers request to come to the 69th to be part of that history. If you look at the building, it is the first one of the armories that was built, not in the medieval castle style, but as an actual armory to fit the soldiers. 69th Armory has been embedded into this community for years. Um, all the times when I go out to local places here to eat or something like that, people always say how long they've known the armory to be here, how many people they've met throughout the years. It's kind of a part of the culture in this area. I think that there is value in having a historical building like this one, because we have very few uh, in the National Guard in general. Uh, a lot of our facilities are newer, and that comes with some benefits, but having somewhere we can look back on and say, this is where we've come from, and this is who we are, and this is who we've been and what we've done through a hundred plus years, I think that has value to the unit, to the state. I think we lose something if we give up our history in that way. The Army's played a big role in supporting our domestic operations here. I think the biggest one that we can probably reach back to is obviously 9-11. When 9-11 occurred, the battalion commander at the time mobilized the 69th and had them report down to the World Trade Center to help with recovery and cleanup operations. Throughout the entire time, they used this building as their HQ to help coordinate just not just the operations, but the logistical and sustainment part of it as well. Back uh, during 9-11, this building was used both as a place for, for soldiers to come to respond to that, and then afterwards as a place for, for families to come um, and you know try to be reunited with missing loved ones, to, to get support and other help during that time. So Irene is now upgraded to a Category 3 into storm. Manhattan South Ferry Station like a tidal wave, north. carrying thousands of pounds of debris. Being able to respond to any type of tragedy, a winter storm, um, a hurricane that affects New York City. Um, having an infantry battalion here located in, right in the heart of Manhattan is a mobile force that can respond to anything the governor needs. And when Hurricane Sandy hit New York State, there was heavy flooding in not just Manhattan, but Long Island as well. And again, the 69th responded using this building as their headquarters to command and control the support operations. By moving the Lexington Avenue Armory, uh, that would have a severe effect on being able to respond to our domestic operations as needed. I think anytime you have a facility like this one, moving out is going to cost you. Um, just because it goes back so long. You can look on the walls and in all the rooms, you see how much history this building has. Um, and especially with the 69th, like we, we place a lot of value on our heritage. Uh, everything from marching in St. Patrick's Day Parade every year, um, looking back a hundred plus years on what we've done and where we've come from and who we've been historically and who we are now. Uh, moving out of this building to somewhere else would absolutely hurt morale and retention. 
the 69th has always mirrored the population of New York City, and that's what makes it special. Um, we have East Africans, West Africans, guys from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Russia, Ukraine, Poland, you name it, we've got it. And Alpha Company, I would argue, is the most diverse infantry company in the United States military. This unit has an extremely diverse population, and I think that keeping us here would not only benefit the community, but it would benefit, you know, retention. I think it's incredibly important to keep our units down here at Lexington Avenue Armory. With the high density and the population center of New York City, we can easily recruit soldiers to report to Lex Ave, and that's just not New York City. Again, that's the five boroughs, that's Westchester, that's Long Island. We've historically had our personnel percentage uh, above the authorized percentage because of the recruiting uh, population down here. The fire!